What's up guys, welcome back to Adam Off-Road. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna to be replacing these Spicer U-joints on this Dana 30 front axle in a Jeep Wrangler TJ. I'm gonna show you how it's done if it was broken on the trail right here in my driveway in front of my garage. So this is the part that we're gonna be replacing today. Stay tuned. Okay guys, to start the installation, we're gonna block both the rear tires. Next, I'm gonna jack up the front end and set the frame on stands. Take a three quarter inch impact socket wrench and remove all five lug nuts on the front wheels. I'm gonna remove this cotter pin, castellated nut, spring behind the castellated nut, and with a 36 millimeter socket, go ahead and remove the nut and washer to the hub assembly. Remove the two 13 millimeter bolts that attach the caliper to the steering knuckle. Set the caliper to the side. Remove the rotor. Remove the three bolts in a triangulated pattern that attach the wheel hub to the steering knuckle. And I'm just gonna tap the outside of the hub with a hammer to break things free, but everything will come out all at once. The whole enchilada, hub assembly, backing plate, and axle all at once. And then the hub will free from the axle. And that's gonna be pretty much it. As far as removal, we're gonna go ahead and install the new Spicer U-joints and uh, I'll show you how to remove the old hammer, ones. And there's some clips back here. And I like to use a chisel like this and hammer this clip out. So once you take your clip, you can see right here, you can get in there and pry the clip out. And there's one clip and we'll just work on the other side. So it's gonna be a total of four clips. So we got that clip out. So to remove the U-joint from the axle, I'm gonna set the yoke flange over the larger 36 millimeter deep wall socket and strike the top cap with a hammer. Once the cap has come out of the yoke flange eyelet, we're gonna go ahead and just remove it with some channel locks and continue the process and removing two of the caps to separate one side of the axle from the other. So now I'm working on the other half of the axle. I'm gonna remove both the caps on the U-joint and remove the U-joint from the axle. So the proper way to do this would be to use some kind of press or U-joint removal tool. Um, they do have those if you don't wanna do this the uh, trail rated repair way, if you will. So before I install the new Spicer U-joints, I'm gonna go ahead and take an embry cloth and just sand the inside of the holes. This will help a smooth installation of the new U-joints. So I got the U-joints uh, centered up. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one, get that one in first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set it in here like this and then grab one of my caps, set the U-joint uh, into the cap like so. As you can see to the lower left, I've already pre-packed all the lower U-joint caps with NGL2 rated lithium grease. I use a quality multi-purpose grease. You can find this grease at AutoZone pretty cheap. Strike it here. So just keep in mind that some U-joints are non-serviceable and some are serviceable. They have a little Zerk fitting on the end of the cap. 
This allows you to pump grease in the U-joint with a grease gun. If you're interested on how I maintain these U-joints throughout the period of their life, check out this link above. So once all four bearing caps have been seated, go ahead and install all four of the inside clips. I like to take my hammer and chisel and just tap it in just to make sure that all clips are seated in the groove. Okay guys, I got all the parts, everything's laid out for the front Dana 30 axle. Um, my wife and I, we've been slowly working on this, getting it ready for off-road. Um, new Spicer U-joints we just replaced. I've got everything else laid out. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some new hubs on here as well. Um, my wife went and painted the, all the little brake component parts, the cover over here, got the cover, all the bolts, um, new cotter pins. Also notice that I've been painting a little bit under here. It came out really good. I'm pretty satisfied with it. And this is the paint that I've been using. It's the Duplicolor Rust Barrier. And just one more thing before we go ahead and put these axles in to the axle housing. Um, I have anti-seize. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe some of that anti-seize on the splines and the threads that uh, go into the hollow splines of the hub. So I'm gonna do that on both axles. Take some of this anti-seize. You can pick this up for a buck. It's good shop practice and it will keep these splines looking good. I've, al I've actually also looked at both of the axle splines on both sides and I'm looking for anything that's wallowed out or damaged and these all look, all the slots look real straight and they don't look wallowed out. So I'm gonna use, reuse these axles. Um, same for this side, um, no wallowed, wallowed out splines. Everything looks good, nothing looks damaged. Both ends look really good, axle side and hub assembly side. Now for the axle side, we're gonna take some gear oil and I'm just gonna wipe it all along here into the splines and also around where the seal is gonna seal the shaft. You can see where the seal has made a mark on the shaft. I'm gonna take some of this oil and wipe it all over the seal and the splines. So uh, let's get to work. We're going to torque these back hub assembly nuts to the steering knuckle at 75 foot pounds. So here I'm going to add my washer and thread on the 36 millimeter nut and I'm going to go ahead and torque that nut down to 175 foot pounds. And don't forget add your spring. This keeps the castellated nut from vibrating and uh, I always add a new cotter pin. made it this far thanks for stopping by and watching this repair on the dana 30 axle stay tuned because in the next video we're going to be installing this rotor and brake pads and caliper set by power stop it's the evolution sport z z23 kit so uh, we're going to be installing that in the next video hey if you like this video give me a thumbs up consider subscribing helps out the channel check out some other videos that may be helpful to you and we'll see you on the next jeep mod peace